The Break is presented by Browning Trail Cameras. You've got to see this. Closed captioning is brought to you by iScope. This week on The Break. The Break has a few team members that travel long distances for various types of hunts. Zach Hanus falls right into that group. This week, Zach is headed to Saskatchewan with his dad, Rendell, and a couple other friends to hunt waterfowl and moose. It was an action-packed hunt that you do not want to miss. We've been shooting 45 minutes and we've killed 72 geese already. This is ridiculous. Zach Hanus is preparing for his first ever moose hunt in Saskatchewan. Part of that prep work involves cleaning and siding in his new Browning X-Bolt 308. All right, folks. Well, got a brand new Browning X-Bolt rifle here in 308 caliber. We're gonna bore sight this gun, but the very first thing we're gonna do, which is critically important anytime you get a new rifle, is we're gonna clean the bore and we're gonna lubricate the bolt. Because when they ship guns from the factory, a lot of times you end up with uh, you know quite a bit of interferences in there and the last thing you want to do is have an issue with your gun or damage your barrel uh, by simply neglecting that step so we're going to do that first and then we're going to bore sight this gun and start the process of sighting it in and getting ready for our moose hunt and our whitetail hunts this fall Got down in the 50s by the time we got to North Dakota last night, and now we're about to cross the border. We already saw a moose. Good weather for duck hunting. That's right, yeah, today is definitely good weather for duck hunting. All right, well, successfully navigated customs, crossed the border into Canada, and now we're heading west, heading towards Saskatchewan, finally. What a road trip. We are at Locked Up Outfitters in Saskatchewan, Canada. Your destination is on the right. And we have arrived. Having a beer to celebrate, right? You bet. <laughs> it's been a long drive. More than I thought. Now when you drive two full days just to get to a hunt, you don't waste time sitting around camp. You get out and hunt. That's exactly what Zach and Rendell did. Of course, that's after helping the guides set out decoys. When you're hunting snow geese, that's a lot of decoys. Uh, they can come over here, yeah. We're gonna do these other ones first, though. A lot of these are bent. Yeah. Let's <laughs> feel our own to get a crack. <laughs>
This one's going to the uh For as long as I can remember, the Browning name has meant something to people in the outdoors. So when I went looking for a trail camera that I could depend on, there was only one name that came to mind, Browning Trail Cameras. So if you're looking for a trail camera that's easy to use, is unbelievably reliable, and takes amazing pictures and videos, there's only one brand that I trust, Browning Trail Cameras. Browning Speed combines advanced fabrics, tailored fit, and innovative camouflage. Hunt harder, faster, and stronger than ever. Speed Killer Clothing. This segment of the break is brought to you by HHA Sports. Zach Hanus is in Saskatchewan on a waterfowl and moose hunt. The first leg of this trip is waterfowl hunting with locked up outfitters out of Anaheim, Saskatchewan. I'd say these boys that locked up know a thing or two about waterfowl hunting. Check this out. Go! Good shot, dude. Thought you weren't a good shot. You told me you couldn't shoot birds. <laughs> Go! Here we go. Go! Kill him, boys. Go. I'm gonna pick a nice shot. Well, yeah, you should. It's crazy. It's crazy when you have that many birds, though. Wait a while. <laughs> guys, this is unbelievable. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> Perfect. That's how you're supposed to do it. That locked up outfitters. And we got a bunch of geese coming, but it's 10 after 7. We've been shooting 45 minutes and we've killed 72 geese already. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is unreal. Unreal. It's not fair. It's not I disagree. Fair it's geese. completely fair. It's not fair to the geese. They had every chance to go yeah. somewhere else. Kill him, boys! Nice. Woo! Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Go. Nice. Nice. 
Yeah, you did. Yeah! Three for three again! Loving it. What do you think of that, buddy? It's pretty good. Coming in here. Can't beat that. How you doing there, bud? I'm not gonna have enough hands. Go! <laughs> Mallard, cover up, cover up. Go! Alright, well, that was absolutely unbelievable. We ended up killing 64 geese last morning, and we are getting ready to head to moose camp. So, stuff's all picked up. We've had an unbelievable hunt, just shy of 400 birds killed by our group on this trip. And can't wait for the next chapter of this Canadian adventure my dad and I are on. Thanks so much for watching the break. Our veterans and those currently serving have selflessly volunteered for duty and risked their lives for the benefit of all Americans. With this in mind, the Neistat Foundation was established to show gratitude for these individuals by providing the opportunity to participate in unbelievable outdoor experiences. Each event we organize is strongly rooted in our four guiding principles respect, integrity, connecting individuals, and empowerment. Visit Nistet.org to discover how you can create a brighter America for those who have sacrificed so much. This segment is brought to you by Bison Coolers. Zach Hanus and his dad Rendell are on a trip to Saskatchewan to hunt waterfowl and moose. The waterfowl leg of this trip was a success. Now it's time to hit the road once again and head to Moose Camp on tribal land with Battle River Cree Outfitters. On our way to the bush for our first moose and deer hunt here in Saskatchewan. We've got Kenny. What's up, man? <laughs> and Lance. How's it going, guys? And Brendel. We've seen him already. <laughs> and me. Hopefully, go after a nice one tonight and see what happens. They saw a cow in the first sit, and the main goal is to just come home with moose meat. But it's the first day, you want to at least try for a bull. Hopefully it comes together. Second morning, saw four uh, mule deer, two small bucks. One was close. 
Yep, had them uh, had them inside 200 yards. There was two four by fours in there, but there weren't weren't certainly what you'd call big mill deer. No moose sightings this morning. It's pretty windy. What was it like 80 degrees yesterday yeah. and the day before? <laughs> no, moose. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna pack this set up and uh, go do a little bit of driving around. Yep, so we just had a pretty crazy encounter um, driving in to scout one of these uh, other farms that Lance has and actually jumped a bull out of a small bush. And turns out that uh, that bull had been wounded apparently, um, not by a hunter or anybody else, but just, I mean, as we got footage of him and tried to get around the bush to see if we could evaluate him and get a shot, we noticed he was limping. And then he covered a great deal of ground, but he ran off the, uh, he ran off the reserve land that we're allowed to hunt on. Uh, went a long way, but he was packing his back leg. So if we had an opportunity, even though he was a small bull, we were gonna take him, uh, if for no other reason to put him out of his misery and just do the right thing. But he didn't really give us an opportunity and uh, he's obviously not doing too bad, but we came back and searched this area and there's beds everywhere. Didn't find any blood, so I figure he probably got hit by a car or maybe some other, uh, you know, some other injury, but he definitely was hurting. Probably won't make it through the winter, so. Hopefully we can catch up with him and put him down and put our tag on him. Well, no luck on that wounded bull and no luck even seeing moose over the next few days. So Zach and Randall decided to split up and both hunt. Zach had an extra camera and he gave it to the guide to run with Randall and a quick lesson before the hunt. Recording, that's a red dot. So that's how you know it's recording. And if this mic is on, see the sound meter? That's how you can tell it's working. I'm sure this will go off without a hitch. Yeah. Wait. I open this. I open this. I Here. Perfect. Day five of our moose hunt in Canada. It's been pretty exciting. We've had some bad weather leading up to this. And this morning, it was just right. It was minus three Celsius, and the uh, moose were running everywhere. The guide had the camera, but he couldn't get it rolling quick enough. I drew on her, and she stood there for, oh, maybe 15 seconds. Then she started to trot off, and I shot her with my Browning 7 mag. Banks Outdoors is the place that connects family. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah. That was unreal. This is the place that connects friends. <laughs> Oh, you did it. What a phenomenal story. This is the place that brings excitement. <laughs> Three, bro. <laughs> Most importantly, <laughs> this is the place where memories are made. Buddy. Dad, I will never forget this moment. Neither will I, buddy. Neither will I. Why do I shoot in Indian Creek? and a hammer. Indian Creek once again. The break is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. For well, Rendell filled his moose tag, Zach is about to get his chance. Oh. 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 There you go, Zach, oh, your man. first Canadian bull moose. I'm a little concerned. I know I hit him twice, but yeah. Cool. All right, found blood.
right, so we've tracked my moose out of the field and Lance was able to find some blood out in this canola field. We've tracked him to the edge of the bush, really hoping that he's right in here. So come on, let's go see. <laughs> Sweet. Yes. Moose down. Wait. All right, well, here I sit behind my first ever bull moose. The same exact morning that my dad got his first moose in Canada, too. Um, we've had a, an awesome trip with Lance Albert at Battle River Cree Outfitters. Um, Lance and his staff have worked really hard to try to find us moose to shoot. It's been difficult. We saw some right away the first day or two. And then we went a couple days without really even getting near one. In fact, three days. This is the fifth day of our uh, of our hunt, and whatever happened today, it was magic, right? It was. They were they were everywhere. We come out here and we saw three or four on the way back to this property. Yeah, we did. And we're we're what, Lance? How far are we away from where he killed his cow? Like, just probably about 150 yards. Like 150 yards from where Dad killed his cow moose, ran into this guy. And he come out of the bush, we saw him go around a big bush, we circled around behind it, and I mean the rest is history. So um, he's not he's not a huge bull, there's much bigger bulls here, but we are so happy to, to be sitting behind him and I mean, we've got tons of meat for the freezer and those bison coolers are going to be full. Thanks so much to the Browning, Browning Trail Cameras, Alps Outdoors, and all of you guys for watching us uh, here on the break. Hey, we're wrapping up our trip here to Battle River Cree Outfitters. Um, had a great time able to take this nice bull moose. Okay. Cool. Dad was able to kill a really nice cow moose that was even bigger than this bull. And Lance Albert, you showed us a great time, man. All he can say is, you know, Lance, you, you told me that you really work hard to try to make friends, lifelong hunting partners. That's really what you're after here. Not so much the money, not so much anything else, but you really just want to make, make friends and take people hunting. Definitely. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a whole different hunt than rather than doing it as a business. It's more, it makes the hunting more worth it, more more easily, more easier, sorry. And uh, if, if you just make, go out there and make friends, you know, it's, it's not about, it's not about who gets the biggest buck or who gets the biggest moose. It's, it's how you go about your business and it's more, if you try build on a, a family and a friendship, it makes everything a whole lot easier than just going out there and, and being another client or just being another number, you know, just yep. It's it's that's something we don't do here at Battle River Creek. We want to get to know everybody. I understand? I totally know. agree. You know, we we felt like family while we were here. You know, I see how cordial they were to us. We really appreciate that, and I yep. I really appreciate that. And we had some we had some tough times on this hunt. We had some really difficult weather. We sure oh, did. I mean, we... some really hot weather and and yeah. really terrible windy and rain weather. Yeah. But you guys did a really good job of keeping us uh, spirits up. And for sure, we never gave up, that's for sure. That's right, that's right. And it was our fifth day when we finally were able to find our, find our way into them, and, and that, that worked out great. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, again, on behalf of everybody at the break, on behalf of Browning and Vortex Optics and Browning Trail Cameras and all the sponsors of the break, Alps Outdoors, uh, you name it, you just, we just want to thank you for this experience. We've really had a good time, and uh, we'll definitely be back. For sure, thank you. Thank yeah, you, man. Brother. Right on, thanks. Hi, my name is Lance Albert with Battle River Cree Outfitters. You can like us on Facebook, Battle River Cree Outfitters, or on Instagram, at Battle River Cree Outfitters. We look forward to hunting with you. Thank you.